<laughs> Hi, Ray Lee with Speedboat Magazine here with Myra Coyle and Rusty Williams, the dynamic duo of Performance Boat Center Auto Alert uh, Superstock team. How are you guys doing? Doing great. Rusty? Doing great. Uh, so what's the latest on uh, your race team? So Auto Alert got on for a sponsorship for another year, so we're really excited about that. The uh, stock boat, uh, you know, we're going to be campaigning it uh, this, this fall in New York year, and we're really excited about it. Hopefully we can get, uh, get another national championship, uh, maybe a few wins. Nice. Rusty, you're relatively relatively new to racing, but you guys had a phenomenal season last year. Uh, how'd that feel? It was great getting the first year uh, under the belt, uh, ready for the second year. Uh, uh, definitely uh, be stronger in the first part of the season and uh, hopefully to get, a, get an actual win uh, under the belt. How long did it take you to get uh, comfortable in the cockpit with Myrick and, and, and get to jive with each other? Probably still is. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, well, considering the first time that me and Myrick were ever in that boat together was uh, testing in uh, Cocoa Beach. Cocoa Beach. We literally had never been in the boat together prior to that, and uh, we went out, and ran the first race, and got second. So I mean, uh, hopefully, relatively quickly. So we here at Speedo Magazine, we're lucky enough to have Myrick and Rusty uh, test drive boats for us from time to time and so they do a great job for us but uh, you told me on the side that uh, you tend to yell at them a lot in the cockpit yeah I mean I'm I can't say it, but, uh, <laughs> right. but it's the heat of the moment, and you don't even realize you're doing it. But at least I don't. I'm not as calm, I guess, as I should be. But when you're in the lead, I calm down. But uh, when you're not in the lead, it's, it's pretty, uh, I guess, cold. <laughs> so what kind of, uh, if you can send well, yourself? He yells back. Don't think that there isn't any, any comments. What kind of stuff back. does he yell at you? Uh, you know, telling me to turn left, turn right, thinks I'm crapping the boat when I'm not. <laughs> and uh, usually I'm yelling back, just shut up and go. <laughs> and then I, what I do is I'm, I guess, pinned, buddy. It's pinned. <laughs> so, uh, you know, Mark and Andy and uh, the gang listen to us on Bluetooth uh, via phone uh, on the shore, and they say it's the best part of the day. <laughs> listen to me and him go back and forth. comedy routine yeah. between you guys. Uh, so you guys are no longer doing the super cats this now season. this year we're gonna sit sit this year out in super cat uh you know to be honest with you we don't have uh, a boat to race and we haven't went to build one yet so not only timing but we were spread up real thin uh at work and you know with racing two boats last year and it just wasn't uh it wasn't a great fit for uh what we were doing so we're just gonna sit this year out and uh campaign the uh the uh, stock boat and try our best at that does that give you more focus to come concentrating on one team rather than jumping into one or two? Yeah, to be honest with you, I mean, we did, we raced the stock boat uh, a lot, but I really, we really didn't start testing it until mid-season after we got the MTI running back. Yeah. I mean, and due, due to that, I mean, it, it was taking a lot of time. You know, there, there was some times, uh, like right before uh, lake race with the MTI where we were pulling like 24 hour days for a couple days in a row and yeah. you know so then so then you're more worried about the work you're doing to that and you're just like well stock boat's good enough right. it's, it's your feeling it's like good enough we can compete uh i don't know if we're gonna shine but we'll compete and uh andy did a great job making sure that we finished every race yeah. and that was that was the biggest thing in the uh, battle of attrition for a national championship it's it's so hard to get a national championship due to the fact that it comes from everything from the guy driving the truck there not wrecking or fall asleep and then you know getting there go through testing and training and it, it's a, a lot of work just to go load yeah no i bet so rusty i mean after uh, one full season on your belt what's your prediction for your season this year. Uh, National World Camp, hopefully. Nice. Mm -hmm. You concur? I, I like that positivity. These and, guys. And now that we, we can't call him a rookie anymore. Right. Which that's kind of disappointing because that was fun. Calling <laughs> him a rookie all the time. Well, well you'll have to uh, tell us about uh, the rest of the chatter between you guys. Um, Performance Boat Center, both uh, the former uh, PBC Jimmy John's team and now the uh, PBC Auto Alert team. Crowd favorite all the time. Always put on exciting races. Thank you guys for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.